Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today, I actually received my AMD 6600 non-XT. All right, this is the Merc from MSI. I will be doing a test on what hash rate I get with the 6600. I know there's a few guys out on YouTube that has already done that, but I'm doing it for myself because I did pick this up and I'll probably put this the price over here because off the top of my head i forget it's a le hundred dollars less than a 6600 xt balances correctly as as far as the hash rate compared to the extra hundred dollars it just may be more economical and especially if it's still in the positive if you check it out on whattomine.com and you put this in with the hash rate how much voltage is using what your current electricity or watt per wattage is costing you and then once you put all that in I am getting it that it's still in the positive. It's at a dollar a day, all right? After electricity costs, it's at a dollar a day. So what is this clocking in? As far as what is being told by other YouTubers is 28 and a half mega hash and at 50 watts i'm gonna see if i can get to those numbers as far as i can tell 28 has been like the number that is where it should be as far as the six the nine xt 6600s now this is the wood rig that i built i'm running it i'm going to be running it on a, a 750 watt cooler master and i have a z490 a pro on this motherboard so i do have extra risers i have extra cables and I'm going to be running this i3. So it's the i3 3.6 gigahertz, uh, 6 megabytes of cache. And it is the newer generation is Gen 10 LGA 1200. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, guys. So I got everything up and running. I actually installed Hyo as on this. I got my MSI 6600 non xt and i want to show you guys right now what my configurations are so you guys can see what i'm actually getting with the 6600 non xt so this is my rig that i built out this is the farm and this is that one worker that i have it's currently at 28 let me just blow this up a little bit look at that look at that let's see let's get everything in picture i've been running this for the last 19 hours it has almost been 20 hours 24 hours so it's going to be a full day very shortly very soon my fluctuation in my hash rate so you can see that my estimated or my my hash currently it's been very stable it's been 28.76 so what what is my current settings on this let's see we have right here the fan is at 90 the core is at 900 and you can see all my current settings did piggyback off a few people who were who've done extensive bench testing on the 6600 non xts and this card has been performing pretty well so far now let me see if i can just pull up a couple things over here the poor wallet okay I'm still getting familiar with all this. So here's my overclocking settings. Now I haven't messed with the tuning. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I wanted to show you something else, how much this was actually earning comparison to, you know, later when I do another video on the 66, uh, 6600 XT, the cards that I have in this rig, which is one of them is a gigabyte card. One of them is a XFX and the other one is the power color but I'm pretty happy with this so far. Look at the wattage on this single card is 49 watts. That's been running consistently. And you know, the temperature has been really cool down here. Let's go on to the Hive ON pool. All right, so this is what I'm actually earning right now, right? Each week will be $7.99. Now, of course, this is before electricity costs. The daily earning is $1.14. I mean, eh, you know, I have unpaid 92 cents. This is pretty cool. I, I like this interface. What I found more amazing, you know, a lot of you guys told me I should jump on Hive OS because the ease of use. I mean, it, it, there was a slight little learning curve and I, and I watched the Hive OS YouTube channel to make sure I grasped everything, clay, you know, creating the flight sheet and tuning, overclocking, whatever it is uh, that I got with the 6600. And more importantly is that there is all the specs like this details out my motherboard, which, you know, I showed the quick, you know, in the beginning when I was putting it together, right? Z490 A Pro, exactly that. And of course the CPU, like I said, I got the i3 and it is like two to T, an i3, 3.6 gigahertz. And that's the latest gen, which is the 10th generation of this chip, of this uh, processor. All the rest of the good stuff right here. Now, this is amazing. I think now that I'm familiar with this and I'm going to be 
able to navigate myself around it and I love it. The fact that I also have it on the app on my phone, I'm going to convert this guy over to HiveOS and then make sure to set each card accordingly because it's I think each card, even though they're all from like all 6600 XTs, I think from depending on each manufacturer, there's some slight differences. I've noticed that even with the AMD software on the Windows 10, certain ones just require different settings for whatever reason. You know, sometimes if it's too low of a process uh, on the GPU, it craps out too high. It craps out too much memory usage. It craps out. So, you know, it's very picky. Now, one thing I noticed with the Hive OS, this 950 on the memory, when I switched it to 965, it dropped the hash rate. Put it at 9. 51 just even one digit above where it is now my hash rate became ridiculously horrible it went to like 26.5 and it just stood there and stayed there you know mining but it was ridiculously slower than what it is now at 950 seems to be like the premium the sweet spot to get it to 28.75 i have seen people say that the 6600 has gotten them 29 hash rate um, mega hash which I have never achieved so far but it, I'll be interested to see they did share their settings and I attempted it and this is what I got 28.75 all right guys I want you to hit that like comment and subscribe and expect to see my other cards being tested the same way with my current settings and I'll detail all that in the description below and that's it all right thank you guys for being here I'll see you guys again soon bye